So let's move one step deeper about discovering what is uh, behind the Boeing Globals and in this video I would like to talk about the characteristics of these firms or better said uh, uh, factors to be characterized. So factors to be characterized. characterized. And what are these going to be? Well, those are going to be uh, the factors or, or some information or ideas that are to be found in many of these Boeing Global firms. So maybe you can, or you probably will, recognize many of them in some actually existing companies. So I would begin uh, with uh, the domestic market. So there is there is much higher possibility that a firm will be born global if there is a high degree of internationalization so so there is high degree of and I will change the color internationalization so internationalization realization realization Okay, I hope I wrote it correctly. So, the, why is it so? Well, just just imagine uh, uh, some some uh, maybe island in in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Well, there is not really high degree of, of some, or there are not that many international companies. And what does this mean? Well, it means that these entrepreneurs will not have that many contacts with uh, some. Uh, foreign companies, so they will not really have that much possibilities. So when there is a high degree of international firms, or it can be also in terms of political systems or bank system, the, it is more likely that companies will become international. The second point is that these companies uh, usually bring uh, some breakthrough. So they bring some breakthrough breakthrough and and this is usually uh, true in uh, industrial so usually usually in uh, industries in industries when when the company are producing some products so we can imagine computers or some uh, chip making company so that they have discovered a new way of making uh, these things and and that's why they are able to go to foreign market and uh, directly increase their sales there because if they if they wouldn't have any kind of this idea they simply wouldn't be able to to pierce this market but what i would add what would be my my small personal comment is that the theories are are focusing on uh, technology technology and and what is quite often true that uh, their the the breakthrough is uh, quite often in the idea in the idea of realization realization and and this can be for instance the the organization so we organize the things better maybe thanks to that we can save some production cost and thanks to that we are again able to do uh, these peers of a foreign market. The next point that is very important and, and it is better to compare uh, it with uh, exporting firm is that uh, these are uh, these have different born globals have different approach different approach uh, to suppliers to suppliers if you have watched uh, some of my some of my uh, relationship marketing videos I have mentioned a little bit about uh, the networks so they are maybe doing uh, some supplier network management and uh, it this actually allows them to cooperate uh, in much better way than just exporting firms are doing and due to that uh, again they are doing uh, better job than these exporting firms and this allows them to again pierce the market and the, and the next point I would like to bring is that about the, the size of the market so size of the market of the market well think about it a little, a little bit when, when it is uh, more, more favorable for a company to go abroad it is quite natural when the market is small 
So when the market is small, it is much more often that the firm decides to go global because they simply cannot earn that much or cannot expand that much in the small market. So I think this is quite a quite a easy point and it is quite a intuitive. And the next point, which is uh, again very very intuitive, is going to be uh, the sense of immigrants. So immigrants at domestic market at domestic market and this this uh, this point is basically telling us that the higher the level of immigrants is the higher is the probability that the firm will go global and in the next videos we are going to talk about the four broad categories so four categories categories that that are in some sense influencing uh, the manif manifestation we can say and these are going to be quite known terms which are globalization entrepreneurs networks and industry and if you will not really uh, take the points uh, in those videos or in that video you should get back uh, either to this video where I bring uh, intuition about the factors that are characterizing or even the the previous video where I'm defining the, the concept of born globals so hopefully see you in the next video